Life is good now. It hasn't always been like that. Sometimes things happen that you just don't expect. I'm Lisa, and this is my story. A while back, I was sick every morning for days, feeling drained and tired. No, it wasn't what you might think. Anyway, I had a bad feeling about this because of what happened to my mum. She died of lung cancer. I guess, looking back, I should have done that screening thing that doctors had recommended, but I just didn't think it could happen to me. After a bit of a runaround, I was sent to a new specialized cancer clinic. I explained how I'd been feeling, showed them my files, and they ran a number of tests on me, including a liquid biopsy, to check my blood for signs of cancer. And sure enough, I had cancer. Like my mum, only that I had never smoked. I didn't like what they had to do to her to try to keep her alive. The operations, the chemos that didn't work for her. The treatments seemed endless. They tried hard to find a therapy that might help her, but... So, I was happy and surprised when my doctor told me that cancer is different from patient to patient and that they could find a treatment specifically for me. They could compare my cancer to the cancer of millions of other people, review the treatment they received and how well it worked, and see if it might work for me. My doctor said that he is using a special kind of program to find a treatment. He calls it clinical decision support. Something that connects countless doctors, researchers, data specialists around the whole world. It compares information about me with every bit of information about my disease and all of the treatments received by almost every patient that had a cancer like mine. How they lived, got treated, what studies they were in, if and why they died, or lived on. All of this massive information finally helps my doctor decide on one thing, my own personalized treatment. They decided on a treatment using my cancer's DNA and comparing it to millions of other people. I have an app now that analyzes my blood and helps to constantly monitor me. It even tells me when I have to see my doctor again. No chemo, no operations, just a drip once or twice a week. I wish this had been available for you, Mum. Now it's here for me and for everyone. I'm alive because somebody, no, Countless people did then what I need now. I'm here for them because of all these people and their work. I think they saved my life. I am alive because of this thing they call personalized healthcare. Whatever. I call it a miracle. <laughs>